Spotify sent me a new phone case and it's cow print like the one that Jem has. Super adorable. Thank you so much, Case Defy. And thank you for sending the cleansing dry and wet wipes to sanitize my phone as well. Very, very important during this time. Um, but I'm sitting here to film the intro because I want to explain what's going to happen in this vlog. I'm going to dream plastic surgery today to get some work done. And um, I have a lot of things I need to go in for. So first off, I'm going back for Botox because it's been over six months since I went and now the pain is starting to come back. And I get questions about this a lot on Instagram and YouTube. And to be honest with you, I don't really know how to answer it because everyone is so different. I've been to the dentist, I went to see a jaw professional, like I went to a jaw clinic, like a clinic specifically for the jaw, and I tried acupuncture, I've tried a lot of things, but Botox seemed to be the one thing that kind of pauses the pain and so for the past couple of months I've been fine. I was able to eat a hamburger, but right now it's starting to clench again and sometimes when I move, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It sounds like my bone is cracking. And so um, it's really stressful actually. Whenever this starts happening, I start to get worried. I lose sleep over this. And so um, that's why I'm going back in for the Botox injection. And so um, I'm going in for that. And two, I'm going in for laser because it's been a while since I got the Clarity uh, treatment and I really love the results it gives. So I'm going in for that. and. Finally, I am going to get vitamin shots because my body just hasn't been in the best condition. Um, in America, whenever I felt a little sick, I would just go to Target, buy some DayQuil and NyQuil, and I would wait for uh, my body to feel better. But here in Korea, something that I learned and started taking action for i guess was whenever my friends felt sick they would go to the doctor and get a vitamin c shot or they would get prescriptions to feel better right away and so um, i'm very lucky to have this access to healthcare and so um I'm gonna go in for the vitamin shots because I've just been feeling really weak and um, I don't know like if you guys feel this way but there are moments where I wake up in the middle of the night because my calves start to clench and it feels like my muscle is coming out of my body and then like my foot was so sore so I couldn't like walk around properly and I just felt so so tired so my friend suggested getting the IV shot so I made an appointment and Dream also does that so it was like perfect perfect um yeah so that's what's gonna come up in the next couple of minutes i hope you guys find this helpful if you have any questions please ask them down below in the comments and of course i'll make sure to leave all of dreams information in the description box as well so yeah i just wanted to like share this with you because i get a lot of questions about my tmjd and it could be really stressful it starts off very mild and I knew like weeks before that it was gonna get worse because it would pop and while I'm eating food with my mom or my friends they were like what was that and it's my jaw acting up again and so I'm gonna go get Botox and yeah it's the one treatment that really worked for me and I know it's not like that for everyone some people say that um, wearing a mouth guard helps at night but I hate wearing that because for some reason when I take it off in the morning I feel very tense around my jaws, so it hurts to talk even. So yeah, um, let's go to dream plastic surgery. Hey, you can see the edges there. hear that can you hear that oh I hear it yeah it feels like my bone is cracking it feels so uncomfortable and so it's time well I look like super glowy right now <laughs> it's the lighting <laughs> it's right under <laughs> but yeah um, we're gonna start with the cleansing first 
Um, and then it's laser and Botox or Botox first and then laser? Laser first. Laser first, Botox, and then the IV shot because I really need that right now. <laughs> redness going on here so we'll see how quick the laser um, shows results well wow. I figured out how to perfectly describe how my jaw sounds like you know those glow sticks and you have to snap them off no you have to like kind of bend it a little bit for it to start glowing that's what it sounds like because it makes that sound yeah, yeah. There it is. And it actually hurts right now. I wanted to hear it because it's like, this is for health reasons, you guys. I'm here at a plastic surgery clinic for my health. Well, I am. I'm here for the Botox shots and the IV shots. I didn't know you guys can do that, but amazing. Um, this shot, uh, it's actually good for your immune system mm -hmm. and it has a, it's packed with nutrients and vitamins mm -hmm. so it helps your body to um, pretty much revitalize mm -hmm. and energize you see my thumbs up? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So it's um, especially when you're not in like great condition, um, you need a little pick me up, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great for that. And usually a lot of people come in to um, get the IV shots. It's and like, also, it's good for skin too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I wanted to point that out too. There's like mushroom juice or there's like, there's like garlic. Many, yeah, yeah, garlic. There's yeah. like a bunch of these. and. I think if you there you could get this anywhere really in yeah. Korea. I love it. I've gotten it done like once before and I slept better right after that. Yeah. So I believe it's <laughs> it's more effective because it's going through your um intravenous mm. your through your veins. Mm. Um so it's actually going throughout your whole body. Mm. Um more uh, immediately oh. so it's better than taking vitamins but of course you shouldn't you know do this every day but yeah they don't recommend to do this often though right? yeah just uh, just like once okay. in a while
All right, about 30 minutes later, I'm finally done. My skin is looking really glowy because of the skincare they applied afterwards. My Botox and the UV results you'll see throughout the week. I'll feel throughout the week. So I'll give you guys an update, but I'm finally done. All right, let's go home. Back at home and I was greeted with three big boxes. My mom is not home this weekend because she's going to be with my grandma. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the boxes and end the vlog for the day. Good morning, everyone. It is the day after getting my, I guess, work done. Um, my Botox, I really can't feel the difference right now, but hopefully it gets better soon. For my skin, my makeup applied so nicely today, and so very pleased with the laser every time I go. And for the vitamin, I'm not sure if it has helped yet. Um, I had really hard time falling asleep last night. I slept for two hours last night and it wasn't because I was out with my friends. I just couldn't fall asleep. So it was me and Modern Family. I think I finished an entire season of Modern Family. Anyway, today I'm starting my day really early. I've been up for like seven hours already and I'm gonna go get brunch with Yuni Anni. It's been a while since I've seen her. But before heading out, I'm going to unbox some things that were waiting for me in front of my door last night. So I'm going to open this up and then head on out. So let's start with this small box actually. It has a glass on it saying it's fragile. And so let's see what it is. All right, so first we have a box from April Skin and I don't know what it is. Oh, it is their carrot line, foam cleanser, serum, cream, as well as sunscreen. I've been using their moisturizer actually because I'm testing out a lot of the products that um, I think Medicube because they're like together and April Skin sent over and so far I'm liking the moisturizer. It's not as thick as I like it for this season, but it's decent. And for this box right here is from, I don't know how to say this, is De Piu. Whoa. There's a lot of stuff in here. They sent over a bunch of postcards as well. Very thoughtful. Um, but to explain Le Bio, they are a laundry detergent brand and it's very fancy. I'll show you how it looks. But if you guys remember, I'm a huge fan of the laundress because I love how gentle it is on my clothes when I'm washing them. And it's very important to use good soap, good laundry detergent softeners because um, otherwise your clothes are going to get damaged. So if you want to protect it, it's important to use good products for it. It's kind of like skincare, but for clothes. Um, but here we have a bunch of oils and I believe you mix this in with the laundry detergent. Laundry detergent. And here we have the soft letter fabric conditioner. And the packaging is so, let me just show you. First off, they sent over a measuring cup. And then here we have the fabric conditioner. Very sleek. I really like how simple it is and I really can't wait to try it. Um, again, I have talked about laundry detergents before. It was featured in a few of my um, favorites, I believe, but here they sent over the laundry detergent. So this is what the laundry detergent looks like. It actually really looks like hand soap. But yeah, thank you so much for sending this over. Okay, now moving on to some boxes back here. Here we have something from Gray R. Save the duck. Oh, I know what this is. This is a padding brand. And as you all know, it's getting really cold in Korea. So we are gonna start wearing our puffy jackets. And this is a vegan brand. So let me show you guys what it looks like. They sent over a tote bag. 
And here we have the puffy jacket. I'll probably add in a try on right here. And finally, I'm actually very excited about this because it's tteokbokki. Tteokbokki. <laughs> oh. So we have some melted ice packs. They're still very cold. So this is Shinstar tteokbokki. Tteokbokki is one of my favorite foods because I love spicy rice cakes and it's not like painfully spicy. Well, there are painfully spicy ones that you can have, but I like sweet spicy tteokbokki. And this was actually recommended to me by my wonjangnim at N Olive, And she was basically raving about how this really changed her tteokbokki like world, I guess, because it's so good apparently. And she always tells me to eat sar tteok instead of flour tteok. So sar is rice. And so she sent this over and it's like a surprise because she talked about it and she actually sent it over. So when I saw tteokbokki, I was like, oh my gosh, she sent me something. So thank you, Wanjangnim, always. All right, let's go get brunch. But first, let me refrigerate this and then let's go get brunch. All right, let's go to brunch. We're eating at Pong Market. Onni hai. We always say this now. It's like become a thing. It's been so long. Ang gure? No, mo cha ju man na ju ana ga ju. I know, but there's a long waiting list, but apparently it's super popular, so we're gonna wait today. So we waited a total of 53 minutes and we finally got seated. Not gonna lie, this place has a very weird system. They give like a really long table to just like two people and then they don't let people share obviously because of social distancing. But when we sat down, <laughs> They were like, can we share this table? I was like, okay, but they should have done that earlier. Our food is finally out. We ordered tteokbokki, egg sandwich, and tomato soup. I love tomato soup and I'm very excited about this. All right, let's see if this place is worth waiting an hour for, right? I know, but if they fail tteokbokki, then this place is not, not, not good. Look at this pickle, so cute. Flour? Approved. Okay, now tomato soup. Tomato soup. Nice. Oh, wow, it's good. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone. Today I am on my way to meet up with David. We met a few, actually a week ago at a friend's birthday and we realized that we have so much in common. So we decided to get some lunch. I think I came in the wrong way. We're eating at Iksan Timiba. <gasps> oh, hi David. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm David. He's also vlogging. All right, so we just ordered our food, taking our mask off. David is a makeup artist, so he's gonna do my makeup one day. But today, I'm very good at makeup. I didn't know that I was going to wear a mask. Oh, Perfect. Whatever. <laughs> I love cola. And it has to be Coca Cola. It can't be Pepsi. Yeah. 